Well, I think uh, what I'm going to do this evening is talk a little bit about memory. Memory is pretty important when you're in a contest and you have to remember where the birds are or even if you're duck hunting and you have to remember where the birds have fallen. So one thing that's sort of obvious is that if when you're training you always give a dog two birds or three birds, two birds or three birds, once in a while four birds. Well, <clears throat> the last bird is always sort of vague sometimes. People say, oh, it was the last bird that got me. That's because their memory isn't strong. To make memory strong, you have to do what? You have to practice. So one of the things that I've learned to do is make a memory mark memorable. Make something interesting about it. So let's say I have six bumpers here, and I want to make a, a what do you call that, a six tuplet? Uh, <clears throat> so the memory mark, I want to make the most memorable. Now, this dog has had some of this kind of work, so his memory is better. I'm not surprising him by putting six little marks out here because he's done six and he's done seven and he's done eight. But for sure he can remember more than one or two or three because he's done it. There's a border collie somewhere <clears throat> that I saw on a television program that could remember hundreds and hundreds of names of different toys. I think it was a thousand names. He'd say monkey and he'd go in this big pile and get a monkey. He didn't get the monkey or any of the other toys out of the pile of a thousand the first day. He kept adding and adding and adding to his memory became stronger and stronger. So <clears throat> when you're practicing with your dog you start to build his memory, make it stronger, practice, reinforce his memory. So just for fun, I'm going to throw these bumpers out, but I'm going to take an orange one, which he won't be able to see, uh, but I'm going to put it in the water, and it's going to be memorable because it's going to have a splash. So I'm going to throw it, sit. Now, from his vantage point, he can't see that, but he saw the splash. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Back. That's it. Back. Good. Good. Sit. 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 Right there. Back. Good. Heel. Sit. 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 No. No. Back. Good. Sit. Back. Hey, there you go. Now the memory bird. Ready? Back.
Okay. Okay, now those weren't big marks and it wasn't a fantastic feat. But the point is, especially the last one, he remembered, he locked in on it because he, there was a splash and it was memorable. So when you're training, think about things that can be memorable. Let's say you have a quad set up in the field, four birds, and the, there's one really hard bird that's a toughie. So maybe that's going to be a duck or a pheasant flyer, and maybe the other three are going to be bumpers. What's going to be more memorable, the bumpers or the, the, the shot bird? So be thinking about that. What else can you do to make something memorable? Let's say you have a dog that has trouble remembering short, retired gunners. So what's a way that you might make something like that memorable? Well, let's say that we throw it, dog watches it, the gunner walks out and picks it up, goes back, throws it again, walks out, throws it again, walks out, throws it again. Maybe he does that five or six times. Then they throw some other birds out in the field. Which one is that, is the dog going to remember? The one that was memorable. So when you have the two situations, either you have a pro problem with a certain type of mark, make it memorable. Or if you want to start to increase the memory that your dog has, start adding. I used to call it add-ons. I remember one time when we were training uh, Cutter, a dog that we had here getting ready to do a, uh, run a, a national, we had 11 birds on the ground. And as I recall, he probably handled on one of them or so. But, but his memory was fantastic because we always kept adding on, adding on, until he was expecting another one. And his focus increased and he, his memory grew. So make a mark memorable if it's a mark you're having trouble with, a type of mark, or increase his memory by constantly doing add-ons, adding one more and one more and one more and make the memory bird something memorable. So I don't know if that, I hope that helps you a little bit on the memory because memory is crucial if you're in competition or if you're hunting where there are birds all over the place and you want to make sure you get all of them. So um, anyway, if you're watching this any place but on my blog, go to my blog. Right now it's in a little uh, state of upheaval because we're redoing it a little bit. But go there and please leave me some comments because comments I need in order to know what to talk about next. So that's it. Right, Smoke?